Well, good morning. I'm Kevin O'Connor, host of This Old House. And this morning, I am on the site of the John Hancock Student Village here at Boston University. It is a massive project that has been underway since 1998. And actually, back then, I was a student here at BU. I was at the Graduate School of Management. And at that time, on this site, well, there was the old armory and an old parking lot. Now, those have both been taken down and cleared to make way for this magnificent building that is going up. And it is one of several being built by uh, Walsh Brothers Construction. And the project is being overseen by Senior Project Manager Mark Lutz. Mark, good to see you again. Kevin, welcome back to BU. Thank you very much. Tell me about your building, please. Oh, well, this is the second high-rise dorm that we've done here recently on John Hancock Student Village. We've got two towers here, a 20-story and a 27-story tower connected at the core. And it looks like you've actually got most of this already tightened up here. We do. We've got a prefabricated panel system that's allowed us really to close this thing in pretty fast over the winter. Panels that you make somewhere else and then hoist up onto exactly. this building? Exactly. Can we have a closer look at that? Absolutely. We don't see a lot of it in residential construction. Let's go. All right, Kevin, these are the pre-assembled panels we just talked about that uh, are going on the exterior of the building. This stuff is all shipped from Germany, cast over there, shipped over. All the other components are local. Mm -hmm. The entire panel is prefabricated down in the shop in New York. Obviously, you've got yourself, what, an opening here for windows? We do, all punch window openings. Here's the inside. What we're looking at is the back side of the panel. These are the studs, the main framing for the panel itself with the exterior sheathing, all the components affixed to the outside. But as you can see, we're all roughed on the inside of the building already, ready to receive wiring, plumbing. Will you stick insulation in here? Absolutely, bad insulation. Drywall goes right to these sheet rock finished drywall right to it. So it looks like you made some really good progress on the exterior. Most of that seems to be closed in. How about a closer look at the inside? Absolutely. Let's go. How many of those panels is it going to take to enclose this entire building? Total composite and terracotta panels. We've got over 540 wow. going on the building. Yeah. A lot of material goes into this. A lot of material. I don't know if you ever drove by the building before we had any skin on it, but you couldn't see through it with the amount of steel. It's 9,300 pieces of steel in this building right now. Unbelievable. Yeah. So you said 26 stories in one of the towers, 20 stories in the second tower. What's right. going in all this space? Well, we're in the lobby, the first floor right now, where all the kids come in off the street, go by the security guards to get in, ornamental staircase going to the second floor. It's basically all common area right now for the kids. All common area there. And then above that? Above that, starting on three up, is basically all dorm rooms. And how many beds? 957 in total. And you said there was another tower that you recently built? That's right. About eight years ago, we finished a tower next door here, about 800 beds. Ah, that's quite a few beds. Yep. And I'd love to see them, but I presume we are not taking these elevators. No, we're not taking these. Not quite ready. Uh, we got another elevator bank that we can take. So you guys got uh, some temporary elevators on the side of the building? Yep. Only way we can get up and down. That's it. That's how we get men and materials around the building. Better than the stairs to 26 floors. That's tough, yeah. It's easy coming down and going up a struggle. So Kevin, here we are on the third floor, typical apartment style suite here in the north tower of the building. Kitchen set up, which is basically the rule here in the uh, north tower of the building. So I imagine when this is all complete, uh, countertop along here with a whole line of appliances? That's correct. And by suites, I presume you mean multiple bedrooms? That's correct. This suite has uh, four bedrooms. Tucked out back here. A bath somewhere, I presume? Yep. Bathroom oh, yeah. up back here. Yep. I can see a little shower install right there. So if I understand you correctly, Mark, you're telling me that some lucky BU student is going to end up with a private bedroom and these views of Cambridge and Boston. Best view in the city. Ought to be a BU student again. I know. Views get better as we go up. Well, let's go up let's then. Let's do it. So up here on 26, you clearly have got some more work to do to close this building. We've got more panels to come. We do. That's what we're doing. We're chasing the outside, trying to get closed in so we can get finishes going. So uh, speaking of finishes, what about the whole building? When do you expect that to be finished? Right now, our anticipated completion is June of 2009. Well, we've come all the way up to 26. We've got to take advantage of this view. Absolutely. So top floor looks like it is just a wall of glass circling this entire floor. Just what it is. And this is amazing. And look at this view you've given us. We're looking east, and there's downtown, the city skyline. Are you telling me that a student's going to have this view from their bedroom? Not quite, but very close. One floor below us are residence units. So what's going to be on this floor? Up here is just all common space for the kids, gathering areas, study areas, right. quiet zones. So everybody gets to enjoy this area. That, that's right. And this view. That's true. Well, terrific. Mark, thank you for showing us around. Not and a you problem. you yourself a beautiful building right My here. My pleasure. Thank you. Now, this is incredible. 